NBA teams arrive at ESPN's wide world of sports. In Orlando, Eagle News correspondent Melissa Podes reports. Melissa? Thanks, Mike. So, yes, several teams have arrived while more have tested positive for COVID-19, including one member of the Orlando Magic. But despite the setbacks, players are ready to get back on the court. As far as playing, I, I've never was uh, against it. I never was. I never said no. I didn't want to play basketball from a basketball standpoint. But just, I mean, just like everybody else, I've, I've always had my concerns. I've always had. Uh, early, I had questions um, before. I, before I was getting information, I had. I had a lot of questions. Uh, I thought the NBA and the PA did a great job of just answering those questions for me, uh, giving giving me some clarity. But as a as a as a human, like there's still tons of concerns at the end of the day about going down it, the unknown of how this is going to play out, right? The the, the pressures of this working, uh, and I, I, that's that's just where I'm at. I still I have concerns. I mean, everybody has concerns about what's what's going what's going to happen, how everything is going to transpire, because we just don't know what's going to happen. You know. Uh... Speaking personally, I'm actually I'm pretty excited to uh, um, keep moving forward and get down to Orlando and get going. I think everyone feels really, you know, uh, Scott, Troy, our, our whole staff has done a great job so far of keeping everyone safe, everyone in the loop. We've been doing a great job of getting our tests and receiving our information pretty quickly after that. And so I, I think everyone feels pretty comfortable with the way we've handled everything, and we've we've had good work up, good workouts um, for the past couple of weeks. You know, great individual workouts, obviously following uh, following all the rules. And I think guys are pretty comfortable and pretty ready to get going to Orlando now. A third wave of teams are set to arrive, and teams will begin practice tomorrow and Friday. In Orlando, Florida, Melissa Potes, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you, Mike. Thanks so much, Melissa. So you're probably just as excited as I am for the NBA to get back up and running. Um, can you kind of give us a little, um, I guess, sneak peek as to what to expect as the players and other staff members enter the bubble? Yeah, Mike. So um, players and, and their staff members that come, they'll be traveling in parties of no more than 35. And then when they arrive here in Disney, they can expect to be here about five and a half weeks for teams that make it further into the playoffs, playoffs for sometimes even more than uh, three months. So players and staff, once they go through security, they're going to immediately uh, go to the testing room at the Disney hotel and resort that they're staying in. There, they're going to receive information about the, the testing and other matters, receive the room key, and then they're going to go through initial testing for both the coronavirus and for the antibody. Uh, the daily testing the, for the virus will continue every day, while the antibody testing is only expected to be a one-time um, occurrence while they're at Disney. And then after they arrive, the players and their staff members need to quarantine for up to two days and have two negative tests before they're allowed to freely move around the premises. Of course, when they're out and about, they're expected to wear face coverings, except for when they're at practices. Back to you, Mike. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Disney World is opening up as well. So are there, have you heard up the grapevine as to how they're going to control the crowds? Because I'm sure... A lot of the people know NBA players are staying there, so they might get crazy and try and see them and things like that. Do you know of any plans to prevent that from happening? Uh, I, I believe that everything is actually closed off. If you look at pictures, if you if you go online, you see that the entrance to the ESPN area is is blocked off to the general public. Uh, once you're in the bubble, you're in the bubble. They're not letting people into the bubble that aren't supposed to be there. Gotcha. Last but not least, I have to ask you, who are you excited to see to come back? And please do not say the Lakers. Okay. Well, <laughs> from the West, from the West, I think that I'm really excited to 
uh, see the Pelicans to see what uh, Zion is able to do right before the, the season ended abruptly. Uh, he was on a roll as it, going into his rookie year. I mean, he was playing phenomenally. phenomenally. And then in the East, of course, um, we want to see what the Raptors are able to do, especially now that they don't have Kawhi with them. And they were actually playing really well before uh, the, the break as well. And, of course, my favorite team, my hometown team, the Philadelphia 76ers, but then also the Bucs. Uh, you know, they've been so close the past couple years. Uh, there was a, a locker room interview that I was able to um, hear Giannis talking during one of the previous Orlando games, and he talked about playing with a chip on his shoulder. You know, so it's, it'll be interesting to see what he can do to, you know, push his team to get into the playoffs. Definitely. Totally agree. I'm excited, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much, Melissa. Have a great night. Thanks. You too.